Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Amanda. Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, in today's video, I had a viewer, um, or it could be a subscriber. I can't see all of my subscribers, um, so I don't know. But they asked if I could post a video using regular epoxy on Tumblr tags instead of UV resin. And they stated that um, they stated that they did not have a UV light. Now, one thing I failed to tell them, so if you're watching, I'm telling you now, if you do not have a UV light, you can still use UV resin. You just need to take your item with the UV resin on it, take it outside in the sunlight. Now, if it's a cloudy day, you're still going to get some UV rays, but, you know, if you live in an area where it's not sunny or you're working on something and it's raining that day, then this would be a good alternative. So, I'm going to show three different methods that you can use if you do not have a UV light. One is going to be resin molds. I will list the link in the description box of where I got these. I got them from Amazon. And this is a good way that you can use your regular resin and still get a tumbler tag. So like I made this one and I made this one from the molds and this one and then I have a few others back here but I'm, I'm not finished with those so um, so that's one method and I'll demonstrate that here in a moment And I have two acrylic tumbler tags that I purchased right here. And we're going to use just regular, regular epoxy. And then we're also going to use hyperspeed, which is a super fast curing tumbler glaze. So we're going to use both of those. The first thing you need to do, I've already taken the protective coating off of this side and sanded it down. So I've prepped my surface. Let me get my mask on. We're gonna go ahead and mix up the regular epoxy and we will get started. Okay, so I'm going to mix up about five mLs of epoxy and I'm going to add some alcohol ink to this epoxy just because I want a little bit of coloring for the background before I add my glitter. And I'm going to then let that sit for just a little bit while I work with the fast curing epoxy because I want this to thicken up just a little bit so that it's not super runny and doesn't run off the sides of the tag. So, depending on what type of epoxy you're going to be using, um, you'll just need to know the pot life of your epoxy so that you know about how long to let it sit. And if you are new with working with epoxy, for me, it was just trial and error. Every epoxy that I use is different. The pot life is different. Um, so, you know, again, just after it sits for a few minutes, if you stir it and you can tell that it's a little bit thicker than it was when you first mixed it, blended it together, then it's probably ready to go ahead and put on the tag. Now, also in this tutorial, I will not be adding any vinyl or 
any finishing touches to these tumbler tags. This is simply going to be a pretty much a how to spread regular epoxy on the tumbler tag and prevent it from overflowing and running off of the tag. So I'm not really going to be adding any vinyl or decorative piece, decorative things to these tags. We're going to go ahead and take the protective covering off of this tag. I'm going to sand it off camera and then we'll come back and wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix up my Artistry Epoxy Hyperspeed. And this is a super fast curing tumbler glaze. Um, now I am out of white alcohol ink, so I'm going to add just a little bit of paint to this epoxy because I want a white background. I'm going to be adding some white glitter to this. And I'm not sure that this acrylic paint was really the right choice for this particular epoxy resin because of how fast it does cure. You'll see here in a moment as I'm spreading it, it's starting to get a little thick and tacky and hard to spread. So I really would have preferred alcohol ink, but as I mentioned, I'm out of white alcohol ink at the moment. and this was my alternative. Now, um, I could have just added my white glitter to the epoxy, but again, because this is a super fast curing epoxy, I just wanted to add it first and then we'll go back here in a little bit and we'll add some glitter glue and our glitter. Okay, so I tried to get super close without um, the camera getting too blurry so that you can see when you're using any sort of resin on a flat surface like this, you just want to go to the edge and kind of pull the resin toward the edge. Um, if it does get on the outside, just take your gloved finger and wipe it off. But I have found that most of the time, um, if anything, the resin wants to pull away from the edge instead of pull over the edge. So if you just sort of, if you've ever frosted a cookie, it's sort of like frosting a cookie. You just kind of start in the middle, work your way out. And of course, with this fast curing epoxy, as I mentioned, it was starting to get a little tacky on me, but especially with the fast curing epoxy, I don't think you'd have any trouble with it pulling over to the edge of the tumbler tag, um, especially if you just do it how I'm doing it here. And I'm just going to quickly torch it to pop any bubbles that may form. However, I found with this hyperspeed that um, you don't want to give it too much heat because that does seem to cause it to cure even faster. Um, I like for the resin to cure naturally and on its own and not to, in, you know, force or induce that curing process. So now we're going to move on to the regular epoxy resin. And this is also from Artistry Epoxy. And I noticed on the bottle, it looks like it says it's UV resin. It is not UV resin. It's just regular um, craft resin. It just has UV plus additives so that it prevents any yellowing on your product. So we're going to move over to the regular epoxy. And again, because I have let this sit for a little bit, it's not quite as thick as I wanted it to be. However, it is thick enough for us to go ahead and work with. And you're just going to do the same thing. Just put a little bit on the tag, 
work it out towards the edges and fill in your gaps. Now I do recommend, if you noticed on the last tag, I did not have the hole plugged and that was because I knew that that particular tumbler glaze was, you know, a little bit thicker viscosity and I didn't think it would drip through the hole. On this tag, however, I do have the hole plugged because this one is a little bit thinner and it's going to run a little bit more. So you want to plug the hole with something. Be sure, you know, after about 30 minutes of it sitting that you remove the plug so that it doesn't harden or cure to the tag. Um, but when you're using a thinner resin, you will want to plug that hole with something. Now, the other thing that I have found that really helps me is when you get the tumbler tags, if you order them, they will come with a protective covering on both sides. Sometimes it's brown, sometimes it's clear. For this particular tag, it had a clear covering on both sides. I did, of course, remove the side that we're working on, but I always leave the other side on until right before my last coat of epoxy. And this is so that if any epoxy does happen to drip over to the other side and or leak in behind the tumbler tag, once you remove that clear plastic coating, any epoxy that may have leaked over is just going to come up with it. So that is another tip or trick, I guess, um, in working with these tumbler tags. Also be sure whatever surface you're working on that it's completely flat and level. This tumbler tag, I actually wound up taking off of this little plastic container lid and laying it down on a leveling table so that the epoxy cannot run and pull into one area of the tumbler tag. And then you'll notice I just used a lighter to pop the bubbles in my tumbler tag rather than the torch. The torch has a lot of power and and heat and air flow that comes through it. And if you're not careful, it will just push all the resin off of your tag. So when you're using a thinner viscosity resin, you will want to just use maybe like a, a lighter or a really um, low air heat gun or something like that. But um, those are just a couple of other things to be aware of and to be cautious of when working with regular epoxy on the tumbler tags. And while I was explaining that, as you can see, I went ahead and used what resin was left to put into my resin mold. And both of these will have to sit and cure um, I've found usually with the resin molds, they, for me, they need a little bit more than just one day. I, I like to let mine sit for a couple of days before I take them out of the molds. And I don't know if that's because of where I live, the humidity, the temperature, whatever, but, um, we will come back and check these in several hours. I know the resin mold tumbler tag will not be ready. However, the acrylic tumbler tag may be ready and we'll come back and check those in a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and take some glitter glue and apply to our tumbler tag that we used the tumbler glaze on, the hyperspeed. And we're going to go ahead and apply some white glitter. And of course, per the usual, I used way too much glitter glue. So I will also let this sit overnight so that it can fully dry. Um, if you cover your 
Tumblr tag with resin and the glue underneath has not completely dried, it will cause you problems. So we're going to let that sit overnight to completely dry. And then we will come back and add another coat of resin to the top. Okay, so it's been several hours now. I'm not sure exactly how many hours. I do apologize for that. But um, the Tumblr tag that we use the regular Artistry Epoxy Resin on, it has pretty much cured. I would probably still let it sit overnight to fully, you know, harden a little bit more. But I wanted to show you guys there was a little bit of epoxy resin that seeped in underneath the tag. But you can see as I take this plastic off the back, some of that resin that was on the back, it just comes right off with that plastic. So that's, that's what I mean when I say to leave that back coating on. Um, because that does sort of help. I don't know how the resin seeped in underneath unless when I took it off of the little plastic lid, somehow I trans transferred some of the resin and on the back side of the tag somehow. I don't know. But, you know, things happen all the time. So this is just to show that keeping that protective covering on the back side, you know, once I peeled that off, it just, the resin just came right off with it and it didn't affect the top side resin. That is still completely secured on there. Okay, so just to recap, starting at the top, working clockwise, we have our regular artistry epoxy resin in a resin mold. Then we have our regular artistry epoxy resin on an acrylic blank. And then we have our artistry epoxy hyperspeed tumbler glaze on an acrylic blank. So I'm going to show one more step and that is I'm going to show how to add glitter and regular epoxy to the tumbler tag. And then we will wrap this up. Again, this is more of a how to apply the resin to the tags. Um, so I hope so far it's been informative and you've enjoyed it. And for the person that requested this video, I hope this was what you were looking for. I hope I've answered all of your questions. But let's go ahead and look at the final process, and that is to add the glitter and the resin to your tumbler tag. And again, you can see on the bottle of this resin, it looks like it says it's UV resin. Um, that just says UV+, plus, meaning it has the additives for you know, long wearing shine and non yellowing to the surface. So, um, we're just going to use this again and add our glitter. stirring the glitter in the epoxy I just want you to see how runny and loose the epoxy is we're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes and then when we come back I'm going to show you the difference if you look in the side of the cup as I scrape the epoxy on the side of the cup you'll see how much slower the epoxy runs after letting it sit 
And we're going to do this again so that it doesn't just completely fall off of the Tumblr tag. Okay, so again, this is the last step that I will be showing. We are not adding any vinyl or any other decorative accents to the tags. This was a how-to video, as I mentioned before, of just different options you can use on the Tumblr tags instead of the UV resin. So thank you so much to the person who requested this video. It was a lot of fun to put together. I hope, again, I hope I've answered all of your questions. And I thank everyone for watching. And as always, I hope everyone has a blessed day.